Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather and I am a full-time reseller on both eBay and Amazon. And today, I'm getting a little spooky. It was either Elvira or a vampire because I was, I was going for like a little Elvira's movie macabre kind of thing. But in doing so, I realized that there's something about me that's missing that would play a really good Elvira. Don't know what it is, what it could be. Talent. And listen, if you see a fang or one of these nails pop off in the course of this video, no, you did not. It takes a lot of work to look this bad. We're gonna talk about horror DVDs that are worth money on the secondary market specifically with a focus on people who do thrifting and garage sales, estate sales, that sort of thing. So they're finding DVDs cheap and so they can flip them for money on eBay. There are so many titles in the horror genre that end up being worth money due to being out of print or just scarcely made. So this is just a fun little assortment of ones that I've picked up that I want to share with you. Without further ado, let's get into the spooky bolos. Roll the intro. So first up, a good thing to think about is not specific titles, but specific distributors that tend to be something you wanna look up because their releases might have gone on to be worth money. Vinegar Syndrome, Severin, um, early Anchor Bay stuff, they all did a lot of horror releases that went out of print and ended up being in demand and worth money down the road. But I also wanna share some specific titles to keep an eye out for, because it never hurts to shove those in the old noggin from time to time. We're gonna start off with Sleepaway Camp. This is gonna go for both the DVDs and the Blu-rays. Original Sleepaway, you're looking at like $15 on eBay, used up until like the $30 range for Sleepaway Camp 3 specifically. And it's the same deal with the Blu-rays. The original one isn't worth as much. Without the slip cover, you're, you're in like the $12 range because slip covers are really important when it comes to these things. But if you find Sleepaway Camp 2 or 3 on Blu-ray with the slip cover, we're talking like $100 a piece. The next DVD I wanna talk about is Children of the Night. Let me give you the synopsis on this one. It says, a spine tingling thriller in the tradition of Dracula and the Lost Boys. Ooh, vampire. We'll take you to the ultimate and supernatural evil, a town where every living soul is a vampire. Everyone except you. Ooh, spooky. It really doesn't seem that well regarded as far as reviews go, but it also kind of seems like it might be a case of so bad it's good. So if like that's your genre of horror that you like, you might be really into this one, but be prepared to spend $40 and up for a copy of it used on eBay. We'll go from one vampire movie into another vampire movie, but it's not a movie, it's a TV series. Specifically, Dracula, the TV series. I guess this aired in the early 90s as a syndicated series on TV. I don't remember it at all. The synopsis for this one is two children and their vampire hunting uncle go up against Dracula, reborn as a modern day businessman. Hmm, that seems kind of boring, but people don't seem to hate it. The reviews are pretty okay. But notice in these solds here, there are some that are single DVDs and some that say two discs. It's the one that's got two discs that's the complete series that's worth something. But as you can see, occasionally, sometimes people don't realize there's a difference between the two and they list the series lower than they probably should. So, you know, it happens like that sometimes. You really need to be careful that you're getting like the exact series, the exact amount of discs, the amount, um, the exact release, like specifically distributor, slip cover versus no slip cover like you really do need to be careful with comping these things to make sure you're getting the right price for your piece but you can expect to get over 40 dollars for dracula the tv series the complete two disc dvd set keeping on theme with vampires the next dvd i want to talk about is shadow of the vampire with willem dafoe and um john malkovich i gotta say willem dafoe really has a knack for playing those like creepy looking characters. This is a movie about a movie, specifically the making of Nosferatu in 1921. I love a good movie about a movie, so this one does kind of interest me. And this has Carrie Elwes too. I might actually like need to check this one out. 
The DVD of it typically sells for around $20 used on eBay. Next is Ice Cream Man with Clint Howard. This one's kind of funny and I don't mean the movie. The synopsis is, when you hear the happy jingle of the ice cream truck driving down your neighborhood street, lock your doors and pray to the Dairy Queen that the ice cream man doesn't stop to bring you a cone because a soft serve headache is nothing compared to the pain this dairy demon will make you feel. I've never seen Ice Cream Man. I just specifically remember this VHS sitting on like the horror shelf at the rental store. It's very iconic. But I said it was funny because it's funny. You can buy the Blu-ray of it for less than the cost of the DVD. The Blu-ray of it is a little over $20 brand new. Like I'm pretty sure you can still go out and buy it straight from Vinegar Syndrome, in fact. The DVD version though sells also for around $20 used. And I'm guessing the reason for that is the DVD has that iconic Clint Howard cover on it, whereas the Blu-ray version doesn't. But let's take this one step further, because remember how I said I remembered this as a VHS tape at the rental store? The VHS supersedes all of them and is worth even more. If you find a used VHS of Ice Cream Man with that Clint Howard cover, you're looking at $40 used. I couldn't forget this face and you better not forget that face either because if you see it, it's probably worth money. Next movie is Haunted with Kate Beckinsale. The synopsis on this one is, a skeptical professor visits a remote British estate to uncover parapsychological phenomenon, but soon the spirit of his own past begins to haunt him. Yeah, I gotta admit that one doesn't sound that interesting to me, but it must be interesting to somebody because a used copy of this on DVD will sell for about $20 on eBay. Next up is Night Strangler slash Night Stalker, the double feature DVD. Night Stalker was a made for TV movie that aired on uh, ABC in 1972. The synopsis on that one is, uh, an investigative reporter comes to suspect that a serial killer in the Las Vegas area is actually a vampire. Ooh, another vampire movie. Its sequel, Night Strangler, came out the next year. It was also a TV movie. And the synopsis is basically a copy paste of the first one, but instead of vampire, it's immortal with superhuman strength. This double feature actually has two different releases of it. Doesn't really matter which one it is because they'll both sell for about $30 used on eBay. Kino Lorber did release each one separately as a Blu-ray. Um, those are about the same price used. So all in all, you'll wanna look out for Night Strangler and Night Stalker, specifically at thrift prices, obviously. While we're talking about made-for-TV horror, let's talk about Never Cry Werewolf with Nina Dobrev and Kevin Sorbo. Man, whatever happened to Kevin Sorbo? Oh. Mm, okay. The synopsis is basically the same as the movie Fright Night, but with a werewolf. And if this Amazon review is anything to be believed, it would be an arousing film if not for Kevin Sorbo. So it seems like a lot of people want this specific movie because they really, really, really like Nina. It does sound a little interesting to me, I'm not gonna lie. The solds are all over the place on eBay, but it looks like you can get about $15 and up for a used copy if you find it. Next up is Cheerleader Camp. Give me a K, give me an I, give me an L, give me an L. What's that spell? It's kill, it spells kill. Another one that's up there with Ice Cream Man in the like iconic VHS rental shelf horror cover, that skeleton cheerleader, it's just like perfect. The synopsis is a cheerleader, her boyfriend, colleagues, and a team mascot attend a competition spoiled by murder. Eh, yawn. Sells pretty consistently for $30 and up on eBay used, so I guess that's pretty exciting. And much like Ice Cream Man on VHS, Cheerleader Camp follows the same path. Those sell for about $70 if you can find it. So what this is teaching me is if it was a memorable cover on a shelf at the video rental store growing up, it's probably worth money today. Probably due to the nostalgic factor because we all had the same experience of our dad taking us to a video rental store that smelled kind of funny in the weird part of town so that you could rent Lion King on Super Nintendo and maybe finally beat it this time and maybe a copy of Ernest Goes to Camp for the 50th time and your dad could rent a stack of movies from behind that mysterious room closed off by a sheet or was that just 
my experience growing up. While doing research for Cheerleader Camp, I came across another movie called Spirit Camp that's in the horror genre that is also worth money. There was only one single sold DVD, so it's probably not very common. The movie touts itself as Friday the 13th meets Bring It On, so it sounds kind of like a scary movie, spoof movie that doesn't take itself very seriously. There was only one single sold DVD on all of eBay, and it was about $45 used, so probably not very common, but worth stuffing in your brain just in case. While we're on the topic of iconic covers that I remember at the video rental store, I can't not mention Dead Alive because this one was right up there with the other ones as in like, yes, I remember seeing that so often on the shelf. Synopsis was the delightfully gonzo tale of a love-struck teen and his zombified mother. Dead Alive is extremely gory and exceedingly good fun thanks to Peter Jackson. All right, Peter Jackson, horror, I'm intrigued. And it does follow the previous rule I established. If I remembered it as a classic cover on the shelf growing up, it probably is worth money. The DVD is worth about $20 used on eBay, but the VHS is where the real money is. That one will get about $40 if you find it. Let's talk about all the Halloween movies that are possibly worth money because gosh, there are 13 of them. And surely, one of them in one edition has to be worth something. Halloween 1, the standard edition DVD, not really worth much. But if you find the extended edition or the one with the lenticular cover on it, you can probably get about $20 used for those ones on eBay. Halloween 2, not worth much. Halloween 3, not worth much. Halloween 4 and 5 are good both on their own and in a double feature pack. Those will be around $20 each used on eBay. The rest of them, The Curse of Michael Myers, H2O, Resurrection, Halloween Kills, and Halloween Ends, not really worth a whole lot. The VHS versions can be worth money depending on what release it is and which movie it is. So if you find one of the older ones, it's probably worth looking and seeing if there's any value to it. But the real deal bolo when it comes to Halloween is the Betamax tape. You find Halloween on beta, you're looking at at least a hundred bucks. And that probably goes for these other movies too. I didn't really look to see if they had beta releases, but I'm just gonna put a bolo on beta horror. There's probably some value there. Next up is Skeeter. Earth is the final breeding ground. It doesn't look particularly interesting to me. And it also doesn't look like a very common film to find. But if you happen to find it, it's worth about $30 used on eBay. Something Wicked This Way Comes, which is a Disney DVD. This one is more dark fantasy than straight horror, but a bolo is a bolo. The synopsis is, a villainous carnival owner preys upon unsuspecting Midwestern townsfolk by granting their wishes, but for a price. Mildly intriguing, but it's Disney, like how scary can it be? The movie sells for about $20 and up used on eBay. Out of the four Pumpkinhead movies, oddly enough, the even ones are worth money. Pumpkinhead 2, Blood Wings, and Pumpkinhead 4, Blood Feud, um, have some value in the $15 to $20 used range. One and three, not so much. And this is how I know it's people buying for collectible purposes and not necessarily because they want to watch a specific movie, is because you can buy Pumpkinhead 2 as part of this like four pack variety DVDs um, for less money than just buying Pumpkinhead 2 on its own. But if you want the specific one title DVD for your collection, you're gonna pay twice as much. When I do my DVD bolo videos, I don't usually talk about TV series, but I am gonna put one on here because I've specifically seen it, unlike most of the other stuff I've talked about, and that is Are You Afraid of the Dark? You know, that classic Nickelodeon horror spooky series for kids. It was like baby's first horror show on Nickelodeon. I remember thinking it was kind of spooky, but I was probably like 10 at the time and it was very easy to spook me. I'm talking specifically about the original series, not the crappy remake they did. The individual seasons have some value in the 15 to $20 used range. And this series is tricky because if you go looking on eBay, you'll see a full series Blu-ray and a full series DVD that sell for less money. And you're gonna be confused. You're gonna be like, why are the individual seasons selling for more money than these like complete series uh, DVDs and Blu-rays? And the answer is, it's because those are fake. 
There has never been a single case release that is the entire series. And it doesn't exist on Blu-ray at all. So 100% of the Blu-rays are fake. People really have no shame, but the real bolo when it comes to Are You Afraid of the Dark is seasons six and seven. Apparently those got such limited release and they are so incredibly rare. There's literally none for sale on eBay right now. And the only sold was someone who th sold one through seven together as a whole set. And it was close to a thousand dollars. Like that is how rare seasons six and seven are. So that's like the biggest bolo on this whole list. If you remember one thing, remember to find Are You Afraid of the Dark seasons six and seven. Next up is the Wrong Turn one through six DVD. My husband recently found this one and sold it. So that's how I learned about it. The Wrong Way films are all slasher films. The synopsis is the films originally focus on various families of deformed cannibals who hunt and kill a group of people in West Virginia in horrific ways using a mixture of traps and weaponry. So like what saw a saw type slasher movie, it's not that interesting to me specifically, but I know a lot of people love their slasher films. No matter what, it sells extremely consistently on eBay for $30 and up. Ending this list, on another one that I've actually seen and it's actually not scary at all and I'm really stretching it by trying to define this as horror because it's technically not it's just spooky and that is the TV movie scary godmother it aired on Cartoon Network in like 2004 and probably every year since I was firmly in teenager dumb by the time 2004 rolled around but I was still watching Cartoon Network I still watched it basically every year that they replayed it it's a cute movie, what can I say? I think it was about like a normal little girl in a costume getting invited to a party with like real monsters, but the monsters themselves were just like acting normal and not scary at all. Definitely a piece of nostalgia for younger millennials and probably older Gen Zs. The DVD sells for about $20 used on eBay. I don't remember the sequel. Apparently there was one called Jimmy's Revenge. That one sold for $50. So that one's worth, the second one's worth even more money if you can find it. Anyway, that is my list, a not complete list, just fun list of DVD horror movies that you can sell on eBay for a profit. I hope you have some luck going out and finding them this spooky season. I hope you have a wonderful Halloween. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. I make at least one video a month all about my full-time reselling adventures either on eBay or Amazon. Follow me on Instagram for more reselling content. Follow me on TikTok for just random videos of whatever I feel like talking about. Be sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed the video or if you learned some new bolos to look out for and leave a comment because it helps with the algorithm or if you have some other horror DVD bolos to share, I'd love to see them. Now get out there, have fun and find some scary good bolos.